Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpe Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about the recursion. So first of all, what is a recursion? A method calling itself is called recursion. So nothing but a calling the method from the same method is called recursion. So normally, how you define the method? Of course, for every method, return type is there just void normally i am writing this is not the complete code abc and here is any statements you can write system dot out dot println is abc abc from this method we are calling the same method we are calling the same method this is called recursion recursively it will execute sir what is the importance so where we are using recursion so what is the point right and all these things we'll see suppose i'm taking one simple example in a class in a class test program execution starts from the main method that we know already is a public static void main is a method i am defining another method simply static method i am taking static static void just a fun fun a method we are taking this one with a message system dot out dot print ln just a start start i have written next i am calling the method from the same method is called recursively calling and then here we are writing one more statement called end of this method suppose i have written a small code like this so first program execution starts from the main so from the main now i am calling this fun method is a static method so within the class of course you can access directly or you want to follow the rule class name just i am calling test dot fun test dot fun how the program gets execute the flow we need to understand in recursion concept i am explaining the flow here program execution starts with the main with the main i am calling this method fun so memory will be allocated to this fun method so from here the fun method will call inside the fun method the first statement execute is nothing but in output start message will print after printing this message again we are calling this fun again we call this fun so again memory will be allocated to this fun method in this one again the first statement execute again the second statement fun so again memory will be allocated to this fun method again here start will execute so again we are calling this fun method see is keep on executing like this until the memory is available because whenever is keep on allocating the memory for methods somewhere definitely the memory will be full so then automatically the program execution terminates right in run time in run time the memory will be full so that the program terminates automatically so this is a simple flow of recursion program execution in java but sir then how to control all these things that i'll explain in the next video please watch the series of these recursion videos everything you will understand thank you